Welcome to Book Root Readings, your channel for classic, nature, and living children's books. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new readings. Enjoy the story! Extra Yarn by Mac Barnett Illustrated by John Classen For Stephen Malk, M.B. For Mom, J.K. On a cold afternoon, in a cold little town, where everywhere you looked was either the white of snow or the black of soot from chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every color. So she went home and knit herself a sweater. And when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn. So she knit a sweater for Mars, too, but there was still extra yarn. And when Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Nate pointed and laughed and said, <laughs> You two look ridiculous. You are just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Nate. But it turned out he was. And even after she'd made a sweater for Nate and his dog, and for herself, and for Mars, she still had extra yarn. At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop talking about her sweater. Quiet! shouted Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone! Annabelle, that sweater of yours is a terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning around to look at you. Then I'll knit one for everyone, Annabelle said. So they won't have to turn around. Impossible, said Mr. Norman. You can't. But it turned out she could, and she did. Even for Mr. Norman. And when she was done, Annabelle still had extra yarn. So she knit sweaters for her mom and dad, and for Mr. Pendleton, and Mrs. Pendleton, and for Dr. Palmer, and for little Louis. She made sweaters for everyone, except Mr. Crabtree, who never wore sweaters or even long pants, and who would stand in his shorts with the snow up to his knees. No sweater for me, thanks, said Mr. Crabtree. So she made Mr. Crabtree a hat, and even then, Annabelle still had extra yarn. She made sweaters for all the dogs, and all the cats, and for other animals too. Soon, people thought, soon Annabelle will run out of yarn. But it turned out she didn't, so Annabelle made sweaters for things that didn't even wear sweaters. Things began to change in that little town. News spread of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn, and people came to visit from around the world to see all the sweaters and to shake Annabelle's hand. One day, an archduke who was very fond of clothes sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. Little girl, said the Archduke, I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn, and I am willing to offer you one million dollars. No, thank you, said Annabelle, who was knitting a sweater for a pickup truck. The Archduke's mustache twitched. Two million, he said. Annabelle shook her head. No, thanks. Ten million, shouted the Archduke. Take it or leave it. Leave it, said Annabelle. I won't sell the yarn. And she didn't. So that night, the Archduke hired three robbers to break into Annabelle's house, and they stole the box and took it to the Archduke, 
who set off across the snow and sailed over the sea back to his castle. The Archduke put on his favorite song and sat in his best chair. Then he took out the box and he lifted its lid and he looked inside. His mustache quivered, it shivered, it trembled. The Archduke hurled the box out the window and shouted, Little girl, I curse you with my family's curse. You will never be happy again. But it turned out she was.